Well, praise the Most High today, family. Praise the Most High today. Hallelujah. We lift the Most High up, family, as being the, the one above all, and most importantly, the one above all in our lives. I should keep it personal. The one above all in my life. The one that sits high and looks low over me. <laughs> Hallelujah. And everybody can't say that. Well, not proudly. Because they're under condemnation. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you, Father. We're going to speak on that condemnation here in a minute. Which some would call guilt. Mm -mm -mm. Being guilty and the feelings and the emotions that come when, you, when you're guilty. But I hope everyone is well today and that you're able, like myself, to get out and enjoy this day. Getting yourself in some fresh air, some sunshine, and the most high willing, some good exercise. Hallelujah. We're down here on the farm today, or we should say the old farm, which used to be a hog pen. <laughs> And look how the most I works, full circle. From stuffing my face with that barbecue, pig's feet, ribs, neck bones, chitlins, all kinds of pig parts. <laughs> well, they <that> swine. <laughs> so now coming back and being delivered from that and being an overcomer of the swine of the pork which I was deep into it in the lifestyle the barbecues the um, going to the barbecue dinners helping cook the pigs we did it all right here where I'm sitting matter of fact I remember when my uncle one day he pulled a, a pig out and um didn't give us any kind of warning. <laughs> Me and my brother and um, my pop, all four of us were down here and my uncle had a, a, a bucket and he was scooping out feed into his hand. Hey, hey, sweetie, come on here, sweetie. Come on, baby. <laughs> Just coaching the, the little pig, pig to him. And by the time he got up to open his mouth to get some of that feed, my uncle had done poked him in the juggler. And the next thing I knew, the pig was just sitting there on the ground shaking. And that somewhat traumatized me, but at the same time, it brought me to reality of what I was really facing and what was really going on. From looking at the little pigs, I thought with my buddies and friends <laughs> to seeing them on the barbecue plate and them having to be slaughtered. But praise the Most High family. We're, we're in a new era to where we have been awakened to who we are as the Most High's chosen people and the benefits of it. We don't have to live the same lifestyle we used to live, nor do we have to, to feel that condemnation, pardon me, or suffer in that condemnation of being guilty and then going on and feeling the emotions from being being guilty and that is guilt mm, pardon me family and that is a bad feeling pardon me hallelujah but yes I, I just been coming down here the last few days and contemplating not only what things used to be what, but what things could be now but we say praise the most high we do have a grand idea like I said and it's called restore the joy Restore the joy. And we're going to read over some notes today, family. Many, if not most of the times, our joy level is depleted is after we have sinned against the Most High Yahuwah and we are weighed down with, with guilt and shame. Mm -mm -mm. However, this is the time to run wholeheartedly to Him. And yes, even when we meant to do and say what we said and did, willful sin as the famous excuse goes 
that we all have used. He knows my heart. <laughs> the Most High Yahuwah is our eternal Abba, and he knows all things, and that we are just sinful flesh, as King Dawid and later Saul expressed. From our mother's womb, we were conceived in sin. And that's Psalms 91 and 5. That was King Dawid's quote. Behold, I was born in iniquity, and in sin had my mother conceived me. Mm -mm -mm. And that was another version of it. And then we spoke on Saul during Romans 7, 15 through 20. For I do not do what I want, but I do the very thing I hate. Now, if I do what I do not want, I agree with the law that it, that it is good. So now it is no longer I who do it, but sin that dwells within me. In Romans 7 and 18, for I know that nothing good dwells in me, that is in my flesh. For I have the desire to do what is right, but not the ability to carry it out. Mm -mm -mm. That thing said I desire to do right, but I keep doing wrong. I can't do no right. And once again, Psalms 51 and 12 says, Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your willing ruach. One says generous, the other says willing. Hallelujah. This is such a grand example of the Most High Yahuwah's mercy and grace that even while we were in our mess, he still forgives. However, he will not take away the guilt until we have truly learned our lesson. Like we said before, he's our father. And he knows ahead of time what we're going to do and say. If he knows we're going to um, go ahead and do these things we know better of doing and say he'll forgive me, which he will, yeah. But you're going to have to wear that guilt and that guilt I've come to find out is worse than the actual penalty for the, the transgression. Or getting caught. <laughs> the embarrassment of getting caught with your what you what you was doing. See the whole point is the most high sees us. He knows it all. He even knows when we came up with the idea. Or when we were enticed with the idea. And then we said, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that. When Hasatan comes with the idea, he whispers in our ear, will not you going to have a bite of that? And won't you going to go hit that? <laughs> so I had to bring it back down to reality where I'm at. Won't you going to hit that? You saw that guy was looking at you. You know what them eyes mean. All you got to do is ask her what's up. Cut out all that middle talk of getting to know you. Them hungry eyes. <laughs> Family, forgive me for being so honest and truthful, but this is where I've been. And I'd be like, yeah, you right. I saw that look, and he whispering in her ear. Go on and holler at you. Oh, boy, he gonna come holler at you. All you gotta do is say yes, and you'll both get what you want. Mm-mm-mm. Let's see, family, this is who I used to be after all them um, them lessons learned. After all them whippings of that guilt. See, it's not the physical punishment that the Most High has to take us through every time. Like I say, has to because he don't have to use that tool in his bag to get us to get some get right. And that's that pain. But see, this only works after he used the guilt. He let that guilt sit on you. And like I said, it feels bad. That's just like not eating right. He tell you don't eat pork. Don't eat seafood. Pork, shrimp, catfish. He say this is not our um, culture. But yet and still, you, you, we, we're over here in, in our land, the land of our captivity. And what, what all do they offer us since we've been here? All the um, nasty parts of it. And then get us the cooking and, and, and selling it to our people. Mm -mm -mm. Hallelujah. We're going to continue. But we need the, the most high 